hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been it's all right um for some time now we've been asked how to design a um, contour or how to create contours with them um, autocad with 3d and then we found it um, imperative to make this video to show you how you can actually create contours with them um, autocad with 3d okay um on the channel we already have videos on how to a video rather on how to use them um, contour how to use software rather to create contours and to create contours or how to create contours on software and also we have related video like somehow related yeah where we created surface using a um, motocast in 3d so the same let's, let's say the same um, process was followed to some extent so the links to those videos will be um, on the description section where you can actually access those videos and then maybe you watch them again so by the time you see the series of videos, you will appreciate this um, present video. So before we continue, please, if you're coming for the first time, um, help us, um, encourage us by subscribing to the channel and turn on your notifications. So you'll be the first, okay, among the first set of persons to see when we um, upload our awesome stuff. And if you're coming as um, a subscriber, thanks for always checking on us. All right, now let's show you the data we want to use today. So this is the data we want to use today. It has been arranged in what Eastern Northern and I. And this is the um that's it is the arrangement we are going to do so the first thing is that we are going to copy all of them alight all and then copy them so we do what we paste them on notepad or we paste on notepad so since we will not do any form of sorting like find to replace or whatever it's only the data we needed that we copy so there is no need for us to do any form of sorting so the next thing is for us to what is for us to save it so we save it in a folder we want to save it. so in this case we are saving it in what in card contour so let's call it um let's say card data or contour data rather okay contour data is there already so let's say cont data something like that so it has been saved as what as cont data a text file so the next thing now is for us to do what is for us to get to um, the autocad environment which is this now so we are going to import the points we are going to do what we are going to import the points so we come to points here we right click and then we say what create so we now do what we select this um add point or we click on this import point rather good so by the time we click on this import point it will take us to the next dialog box of um, importing point so we do what we add file good add file so we now go to navigate to the directory where we might have saved it so we have it as what font data here. so we do what we open it now you remember that um, the arrangement here is in what eastern northern and height not northern eastern and height or maybe any other arrangement so you ensure that you give the instruction to the end to the software so we have eastern northern and height space delimited that is separated by space so since it has been imported the file has been imported we say what we say okay and then we can do what we can close this other um we can close that tab now the next thing is for us to wait for the points to come in depending on how fast our systems are good the points are in now so the next thing we can actually do what we can zoom to the screen to see the points we've imported so how do we do that since the points have been imported we can actually use them um, the z enter e enter which is um, zoom extend so we have what z enter and what e enter good so these are the points that we want these are the points we imported so you can see them here so they are arranged the way they will fall or maybe the way they were placed on the on the earth surface so now the next thing we want to do is now we want to create and um, we want to create surface all right so we want to create surface now so we do what we come to surface we right click on surface and we do what we say create them um, create surface so we give it a name since we are working on contour we can actually call it what we can actually call it contours and then we say what's okay right good so we created them um, a surface called contour so we can open that surface and then do a little modification on it by going to what point group you right click on point group you click on add then you do what you select all points you apply and you say what okay so we can see that the um, surface will be created now the surface has been what the surface has been created so this now takes us to the next point or this now takes us to the next stage now, if you look at it, this is not how a typical contour or let's say a typical contour plan is um, being, um, how would I say, this is not how it appears. So we are still going to do a little bit of um, annotations on it. 
So since the points have been grouped, we can just click on one of the points and then edit to make effect on all of them. So you just click one of the points and then you go to what? Um, point group properties, which is actually this. You come to point group properties and then you make a little bit of annotations there. So the first thing now is that we see the point style. Now it's on basic, which is actually, let's say the conventional method. However, we are going to toggle through some of the features there to see what we can get. So now let's leave it on basic now. And then the point, um, the point label style, let's, let's just um, use elevation since we are dealing basically on height. And then let's look at how the text height will also appear and the rest of that. So let's say the marker here, let's leave it at, let's say three, three millimeter. And then we apply, we say what, okay. Then we come to this um, point um, label style. We also toggle through that and then we see what we can do there, especially to the text height. Good. So let's also make this three or let's say 3.5 as the case may be. So depending on what you want, okay, you can see that it has been enlarged a bit. Good. So what will happen now is that this will now appear on the surface of what we've created. So apply and what? And then, um, okay. So you can see now that instead of seeing all those points, you are seeing their elevations being, um, let's say, also described or the elevations being depicted on them as well. However, as I said earlier, this is not how we are going to leave it. So we still do what? We still select one of the points. We come to what? Point group properties. And then on point group properties, we define how we want to get the point style. We don't want to see any. So we go to none. And then even the point elevation style, we also go to what? We also go to none. So we apply and then we say what? We say, okay, good. So you can see all those annotations have been um, removed or let's say if we call it a layer, we've actually closed that layer of annotations. So we only see the contour lines. We only see the contour line. Now this again is not how the contours should appear because you know contours should have values. So the values are not here. So the next thing we want to do now is that we are going to let's say edit it and then add label to it so this takes us to the next stage the next stage is first word is to click on the surface as it is like this click on the surface when i mean the surface i mean the diagram because we are now doing it as a surface and then you come to what you come to add labels add labels you click on add labels now there are different um, other functions here and one of the functions we are going to consider is what contour multiple so you do what you click on contour multiple it says them um, create contour labels between two specified points so we are going to pick one point and we are going to pick another point and it's going to give us the label between those two points so we are going to see what just click on that it takes us to where we can do it now so you click on this point you move your cursor to this other point and then you will find out that the contour value has what has been um, displayed on the contour line. You can see we have 28 there. So for you to continue, you use the space bar, you escape rather, then you use the space bar again to come back to your last function. You pick any other point. Okay, let's say this point. And then you also pick this other point. Yeah, good. So, are we together? Good. So you can see now that the value has been what? The value has been displayed. So the same thing will happen as we continue. Let's come to this other side of the surface and see. So this is how you do it. This is how you plot contours. Still use the space bar to bring your last function. You pick a point here. And then you pick another point here. So you can now see that what the contour value has been, what has been displayed. So the same thing will happen if we come again. If we come again and then we say, okay. We pick a point here and then we come down and then we pick another point somewhere around somewhere around here good are we together so the contour values have been what have been depicted here so this is how you go about creating contours using them um, autocad civil 3d so by the time you watch videos on how to use software and you watch the video on how to use um, AutoCAD Civil 3D, depending on what your client needs, depending on what you need, the scope of the project or whatever the case is, you can decide to use any of the softwares to do what, to create your content. So you can still do so many things. You can just click on Geo Surface again. You go to Properties and then maybe if you want to do any form of annotations or any other thing you want to do on them. So as we said earlier, 
on this video we are going to show you how to use what autocad civil 3d to do what to create content so if maybe the text size is not legible enough for you you can still watch you can still edit them and then get something bold and something presentable for yourself or for your client so thanks for coming to class we hope you found solution to this particular solving problems and once again if you're just coming for the first time please subscribe to the channel thanks for always coming if you're a regular viewer and again you can also support us if you check the description section you see links on how to support us and then you know keep the channel going so thanks for coming to class we'll see you again on the next video until then keep being a good surveyor a good geomatic engineer and have a nice time bye